Do you see what is happening here? A Muslim who dislikes Muhammad. A Muslim who disapproves of Muhammad's saints. What did he say about it? A Muslim who calls records of Muhammad's saints as Harry Potter. Instead of mocking, scoffing, you might as well straight away answer some questions. 124,000 prophets. Any evidence? Have you got any evidence, sir? Well, I don't have. That's the point. Have you got any evidence, my dear young friend? 124,000 prophets. I asked last week. No evidence. Have you got an evidence, sir? No, 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 sir. Have you got an evidence for 124,000 Islamic prophets? Hey, no, no, no. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Do not run away from the serious issues. Are you a Muslim, sir? Are you ashamed of Islam, sir? No, I'm not. 124,000 prophets. Where do you have evidence? Have you got any evidence? None at all. Ask them time and time again. What you receive is just this. Come near and just say something, repeat it, sing their national anthem and move away. This is not the way you approach religion. This is not the way you approach figuring out who God is. So 124,000 prophets, a big fat lie. We also saw last week there are a whole lot of other things which, are, which make Islam a big fat lie but today we are here to deal with another very particular issue muslims have been told for a while that islam is an abrahamic religion muslims have been told for a while that islam that islam Islamic Allah is the same as the Yahweh of the Torah. Muslims have been lying. Sweetie, Muslims have been lying about these things. If you go to any city in our nation, you would find tables with many free booklets, free Qurans, Free booklets. Excuse me, sir. Please learn to listen, sir. Free booklets. Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. How many of you have seen this? Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. Have you all seen that? Same message. Have you, have you, have you, have you seen that thing across our nation here? This is a prominent lie which is being advanced today. But if you actually carefully look at the content of Islam and compare it against the content of the Bible, you would find out there could not be nothing more Can you defend your Bible? Too much. which is further from the truth. Nothing further from the truth. And today, in particular, we are going to look at the issue of slavery. Particularly slavery. If there is any intelligent person here, please be prepared. The subject should be clear to you. And the subject is slavery. I am now going to give you a few very precise details regarding how slavery in Islam works. Very particular details. Today, there is a bit of a confusion. The word slavery is used both in the Bible and in the Quran. And unfortunately, because of this case, because of this case, essentially people have been hiding behind big fat lies. Muslims have been hiding behind even media such as BBC. 
The other day, I was going through an article on in BBC, and BBC is forced to defend Islam without, without even. Excuse me, sir. What qualification have you got about this, sir? I am going to ask simple questions, try and answer, sir, and then let's deal with that, sir. So BBC says slavery in Islam is very similar to the slavery in the Bible. Let's try and examine if this is really the case. Your slavery involves children. Slavery in Islam. I'm going to read to you a particular hadith source at the moment. Any Muslim who wants to defend Islam, please pay attention and begin to answer my questions. Sahi Muslim 10 3901 Sahi Muslim 10 3901 What do we find? We find the fact of the so-called the so-called Islamic Allah sorry Islamic prophet who never had a prophecy to his credit the so-called prophet thinking that one Arab is equal to two black men how many of you today agree with this idea today excuse me sir today we use the term racism when anyone assumes that the value of any particular ethnic human being no, 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 is lie. different to no, no, any don't other lie. particular don't ethnic lie. No, human. You're lying. You're lying. We say that. You're lying. We call. You're lying. We use the term you're racism. You're Can you see the desperation you're here? You're lying. You're lying. When Muslims you're are lying. desperate, you're what do they do? You don't want to. Talk. They either you sing their national you're anthem. You don't want to or do play. these simple things you you apart from this do they do anything more let's sensible talk. let's talk then this do they respond to questions they don't let me respond to it let me respond to it so let me read to you sagi muslim book number 10 uh, the the uh, saying number 3901 where are you from where are you from jabir allah be pleased with him reported they came a slave and pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle, may peace be upon him, on migration. He, the supposed holy prophet, did not know that he was a slave. Then there came his master and demanded him back. Whereupon Allah's apostle, may peace be upon him, said, Listen, sell him to me and he bought him for two black slaves and he did not afterwards take allegiance from anyone until he had asked him whether he was a slave or a free man desperation sahi muslim book number 10 saying 3901 says the so-called islamic prophet who is not a prophet because he doesn't have any prophecy to his credit thinks that one arab is equal to two black men so here begins the problem. Please try. If you want to speak about the Bible, sir, please try and find out where in the Bible you get the idea that one white man, that one Arab or any other white man is equal to two black men. Do you find such an idea, such a very reprehensible idea, primitive, backward idea in the Bible? Do you find that there? Excuse me. You, you see, you see, do you see that? In my Bible, black people are cursed. Please find out the reference. Bring the verse here. Let's read it, sir. Bring the Bible. Find out the verse. Please read, sir. Find it, yeah, find it, please. Because he's afraid to take the book because he wants Google. So, 
One Arab is equal to two black people. We call it racism. The problem is this. It's the first point I would like to make is this, my dear friends. The historic Islamic racism is firmly rooted in strong held sorry the historic uh, slavery islamic slavery is firmly rooted in very retarded backward racist ideas try and find similar racist ideas in the bible it's a challenge to you and at the same time if you try and find that answer the question two black slaves one arab how many of you are happy with this idea two black slaves is equal to one arab slave anyone happy with this idea so clearly you're not happy with sagi muslim sagi muslim sagi muslim are you a tape recorder sir can you say any other statement than that sir even your islamic brother is laughing at you sir any other Muslim who can make some sense? Any other Muslim who can add a bit of material? You, sir? Are you Muslim, sir? Why don't you let him answer? He can't answer apart from repeating the same recorded message over and over again. Do you consider... Okay, one minute. Are you happy with this idea? Are you happy with the idea that one Arab slave is equal to two Black slaves. Oh, Happy with the idea? That eye you're talking about is not referring to a slave. Not referring to anything. That's not even been said. How can a prophet? Do you agree with this, sir? Sagi Muslim, do you have do you have hadiths in your on your phone? No. Sagi Muslim. Sagi Muslim. I don't believe in Sagi Muslim. You don't believe in the hadiths? No, I'm Shia. I'm Muslim. Okay, you're not you're Shia. Okay, that's fine. So 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 that's that's where do you believe that Muhammad had slaves? No. He was in the process of Abraham had slaves, slaves in, in your Bible. What was the process? At the time of Islam, slaves existed. The Prophet came and started eradicating slavery. People. He freed Bilal al-Habashi. He, he was freed loads. He set loads of slaves free. So he used to buy slaves and release them. So Bilal was freed by Muhammad. Are you sure about this? No. Abu Bakr paid. Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr so Bilal paid. Abu Bakr paid for his freedom. He was the first black Muslim. Was Bilal released by Muhammad? Yes. As from the teachings of Muhammad, yes. No, 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 no. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Where did Bilal? Where did Abu Bakr get Bilal from? The prophet, the prophet told, told Abu Bakr, Bakr to, to go and pay. Stay silent, sir. You can't make sense. Coming to you. Listen, if you're going to pick... Where did Abu Bakr receive Bilal from? If you're going to pick and choose words, from your Christian debate. I'm asking you. The where you did... Tell me. I'm asking you. I don't know. You tell me. Abu Bakr inherited things from Muhammad. No, he didn't. How do you inherit from him? How are you So Bilal... Are you Why do you inherit? No, he's brutal. Are you okay? Are you okay, Ned? How do you inherit him? Bilal? 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 No, how Bilal? Bilal? No, how okay? can Abu Bakr inherit okay? the prophet? Now. Did Bilal ever... Was was it Bilal ever bought by Muhammad? No. No, no he was Abu never. Paid for him. He what? was never paid Abu by Bakr Muhammad. paid for his freedom. Wait, did... Was Bilal in the service of Muhammad? No. No, no he, he wasn't. He was more evident. Yes. So, when? When when Muhammad was around? No, that was the Muslim. When Muhammad was around, was he there? No, he wasn't. That's not a job. That's just something you do. Question, simple. Was Bilal around when Muhammad was there? I'm around when slavery is around now. That's slavery not the question asked, sir. If Abu Bakr was going to release Bilal, which yeah. isn't, ca isn't the case. Why not? Who paid for him? I, 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 I'll get to the hadith for you. Abu Bakr didn't release Bilal either. But if Abu Bakr was going to do that, do you realize Muhammad did not do it? Do you realize that, sir? I'm not asking why not. I'm just telling you, if Bilal was a slave, even by the time of Abu Bakr, when he was in the service of Islam, when Muhammad was still around, clearly, what? So, All through so the life of Muhammad, Bilal was still a slave. No, in the prophet's time, he was not a slave. The prophet paid, the prophet told Abu Bakr to release him. There is more black people. Than the prophet was alive, Abu Bakr was alive, and they released Bilal al-Habashi. So let's read this particular...
Yeah. Would you like me to read the hadith for you? I don't believe in Sahih Bukhari or Sahih Muslim. I'm Shia. Okay, we'll come to you later. So, Sunni, Sunni Muslims here. You are a Sunni Muslim, sir. Please come here. Please come here, sir. Let's try and see. Let's try and see if Muhammad released Abu Bakr. Sagi Bukhari. Sagi Al Bukhari. I'm not Sunni. Okay, you're not Sunni. You see, are you Sunni or not, sir? So even a Sunni Muslim is now running away. Because he can't yeah, deal I'm with the Hadith sources. You, my friend, you have, you've got <laughs> some faith. Yeah, yeah, yes, thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Because now, faith. But the, what, what we're dealing with here is Why very important. So now that the other gentleman has run away, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. My dear young friends, please join in. How many of you believe one Arab person is equal to two black people? Anyone? Are you happy with that idea? One Arab is equal to two black people? You, my dear friends, are you happy with this idea? Why is everyone ashamed? Are you Muslim, sir? No, you're not. Are you Muslim, sir? Are you happy? Are you happy? Yes. What are you saying, yeah? You keep repeating the same thing. Yeah. And this nobody will answer this question. Let me answer it. Yeah, you answer please. Answer. Yes, please. And don't put words in people's mouth. Yeah, please. And when someone comes to you and speaks Excuse me, sir. Can we please get on to the question, sir? Try to listen. Okay, you have now listened. Are you happy no. with the idea? No. But do you realize? That's racism. Very good. So do you see what is happening here? Our dear friend here. Are you a Muslim, sir? I am. So our dear friend here, who is a Muslim, disagrees with the so-called Islamic prophet. Because what he thinks he doesn't like, which is racism, Islamic prophet considered to be true. One Arab slave is equal to two black slaves. Who said that? Muhammad, the so-called Islamic prophet. You need to go. That's a lie. You need to go argue with Sagi Muslim, sir. And I can argue with you. Sagi Muslim. I will tell you something. No, 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 no. Do you agree? Excuse me, sir. This person, they don't accept Santa Maria as a sin. You don't know Santa Maria. Excuse me, sir. So go and read. Cut short the nonsense. Let's get back to the facts. Number two. Sagi Muslim. How many of you Muslims read Hadith sources? How many of you Muslims are happy with the Sahi Hadith sources? Listen to him, you won't get an answer. Sahi Muslim, chapter 10, verse 3, 9, 0, 1. My dear young friends, do you agree? You my dear young friends, no do you agree with the idea one Arab is equal to two Jesus black people? Are you happy with that? Jesus of yeah. Those guys, they don't Talk allow. about Islam, no, they don't don't allow. Allow. run don't and hide. No, no, because for Islam, they, they haven't know. got a defense. Christians How many Muslims here would like to engage the with the points that I'm asking here? So, they come here so why did Muhammad to consider the black people to be inferior? Why don't you accept him? Why did Muhammad consider black people to be inferior? Because the mother of Jesus. Muhammad, why don't you accept the so called Islamic this is what prophet you come here who never had a prophecy to his credit but you are was a deep before Muslim racist. I don't care what he was a hater I can tell you of black people. In we find more evidence. In Belgium, Sagi Al Bukhari, chapter 9, 1489, 256. 
What do you find? Muhammad Islam. Muhammad describes warriors. Black people as racist hunts. But he chose that black. How many Muslims are happy? With the idea the first that black people are described as racing huts. So, when how many of you? Hey, Jimmy, sir, are you when happy with the idea racism? that black people are called racing huts by Muhammad? Do you okay, agree with that idea, sir? Anyone agrees with that idea? Black, black people being called racing huts? Anyone agrees with that? So clearly, Muslims ought to leave Islam because you do not agree with your own so-called Islamic prophet who never had a prophecy to his credit. You don't like what he said. You don't like what he thought. And therefore, my advice to you, my dear friends, is to leave Islam. If you think racism is wrong, leave Islam. That the KKK who are killing black people in the United States, in the the fake particularly, they are same religion are you? Does Islam approve of the black slavery? So you come here, African slavery, have an agenda. Al Tabari, Al Tabari, Volume Two, Page Eleven. Did you hear what just happened? Saggy Muslim is Harry Potter. Listen from your Muslim brother. Muhammad's sayings collected by Saggy Muslim, by Saggy Muslim, as Saggy Muslim is Harry Potter. Do you see what is happening here? Do you see what is happening here? A Muslim who dislikes Muhammad. A Muslim who disapproves of Muhammad's sayings. What did he say about it? A Muslim who calls records of Muhammad's sayings as Harry Potter. <laughs> this is what you find in Ipak. Shameless. You need to leave Harry Potter, sir, and come to Jesus Christ. Let's move on. So problem number one in Islamic Slavery is the fact of deep-rooted racism. Problem number two, it's not just that Islam thought black people were inferior. Islam also thought non-Muslims, unbelievers, unbelievers of Islam were inferior. Where do we find evidence for this? Right in the Quran. Chapter 25, verse 44. Chapter 2, verse 171. Chapter 7, verses 175 to 177. Chapter 62, Surah 62, Ayah 5. Go through all of these. What do you find? We'll find out Quran. Okay, let's find. Come on. Come here, please. Well, unfortunately, I'm reading to you from your own sources, sir. If you think your sources are dividing, leave Islam. To divide mankind. Come here, sir. Please read this particular ayah for me, sir. Surah Al Furqan, ayah 44. Please read that for us, sir. Well, read this, sir. Or do you think that most of them hear or understand? Talking about those people who did not hear or understand Islam, what is it saying? Exactly. Who is it talking about? About me, because I have rejected Islam. So about me, what is it saying? They 
or else the cattle, cattle, no, they are farther astray. So how does Islam see non-Muslims? Please come and read this, sir. Islam sees non-Muslims as cattle, as pigs, as cows, as sheep, camels. Islam tells you there is none more with the job. We have a we have a problem here. We have a problem here. More with the job. Islamic slavery is a serious problem. Please come over here and defend your Islam. More with the job. Please come over here and defend Islam. Islam calls. Islam. Hijab. We have a problem here, please. And the problem is slavery. I'm doing well. How are you doing?